Yo, Bakugo versus Deku fucking fight. This episode of My Hero Academia. Now, there's gonna be some complaints because I will say that the first half of the episode or so definitely felt like it was a little bit sluggish, getting a lot of those flashbacks, and it was very reminiscent. I don't care what anyone says. It's very reminiscent of a fight you're gonna get between Naruto and Sasuke. They even had the panel of both of them charging at each other like the Chidori versus Rasengan. So it was very reminiscent of that, but not in a bad way because it still was doing his own thing, and Deku's still a very different character than Naruto. Likewise with Bakugo go and I really felt as though this episode once again even though it's not very broad it was definitely going more into Bakugo's characterization which I think towards the end of the series will really get a true insight into him but a lot of it is I think he misunderstands because he's so much on that I'm the shit I'm a boss I'm the best fuck you Deku you ain't shit and to see Deku even standing up for himself even looking like he has some sort of promise it pisses him off so it was definitely more so diving into that as well but then also setting up for the second half of the episode where shit fucking went down and i love that it was very strategic as well they didn't fucking make it like oh you know just punch him and and you'll win like deku actually had to struggle and it wasn't necessarily that deku got the complete victory because unlike let's just say it being a full-on knockout brawl where deku actually punched him and, and beat him like that it would have been a different story would have felt like okay there's really no more need for a rivalry or anything like that in this you know series between the two of them but since he knew that he couldn't defeat him with that he knew that bakugo probably was still gonna beat him ultimately being strategic and using the opportunity to punch the ceiling and work with Uraraka to actually just win not actually you know take Bakugo out but just win it was definitely like okay we know Deku still ain't ready to take out Bakugo just yet like he probably wouldn't have won but at the very least he won the little challenge that they had and it honestly felt as though like if there was a character right now out of My Hero Academia based on the episodes we've seen thus far that would turn into a villain it looks like Bakugo the motherfucker acts straight up like a villain like that's supposed to be his friend from childhood he fucking picks on him treats him like shit i mean even the way he was attacking him was as if yo i could probably kill this dude i'm not gonna but i could probably do it and like he just was going full on to the point where all might was gonna blow the whistle so it really showcases well bakugo's character that is like he's borderline ready to be a fucking villain it's like you never hear him say anything about being a hero it's just like i'm great i'm the shit i got the best quirk fuck everybody but it's never like oh i'm gonna save somebody or oh i'm gonna be doing good deeds and shit like that so it really makes you question like yo could bakugo go down the path of being a villain at some given point based on his character right now and i mean again first half of the episode for what it was worth it was okay going back in time between the present and then you know the past or whatever but the second half of the episode was where it really just got lit as a motherfucker seeing everybody go in and i think honestly out of all the characters in this episode the four people that were fighting uraraka bakugo deku and ida i think ida was the weakest in a sense of character wise because he was just like yes i'm gonna be a villain ha 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 and it was just kind of like uraraka's there struggling to try and you know take her place as a strong female and help Deku win this one. Bakugo's being a straight psychopath. Deku's getting over this hurdle of having to stand up to his bully. And then Ida was just like there. Like, oh, I'm gonna make it to be a hero even if I have to be evil first in this little trial or whatever. So Ida's character was definitely like the weakest. But honestly, this episode, the fight between Deku and Bakugo, the way it was handled, the way it was done. I mean, for the most part, from the second half of the episode onward, it just really felt as though it was panel for panel. And they just did an amazing job. The art and animation was gorgeous. Honestly, if it wasn't for the sluggish pace, which I I don't want to keep harping on that of the first half of the episode i would have said like this was borderline 10 but it was still a very damn good episode i want to say eight and a half maybe even nine just seeing deku's character like as a main shonen protagonist especially the way they're pacing this and shit like that for him to have this growth and it feel realistic and not too much to the point where it's like well where do you go from here with him it's great honestly this episode was just fantastic yet again the first half could have been a little quicker could have, you know, picked it up, couldn't have, you know, cut out some of that flashback shit, like, just like we bitch about Naruto, I'm gonna keep it real with this too, but nonetheless, it was still a pretty fucking awesome episode, that's, that's my stance on it, Deku for the motherfucking win, and the way the fight was handled was crazy, let me know what you guys think, what did you think about the fight, what do you think about the first half with the flashbacks to when they were children, what do you think about Bakugo's character, do you think that out of everybody we've seen thus far, he's the closest to becoming a villain at some given point in the series, what do you think about Deku's character, just seen from episode one to right now, how much he's already changed, and we're just only what seven episodes into the series any overall thoughts but thanks for watching if you enjoyed anything about this video make sure to drop me a like i'd greatly appreciate it and if you want more from me make sure to subscribe follow me on twitter instagram and stalk my facebook to get more when the video ends i'm for world and as always people have an awesome day